everyone this is joy banerji from ai gary support and this is the third video of the series if you missed out the first two video you can just have the link right below or go back to the playlist of windows server 2012 in our channel and let's move on with the third video which is setting up your lab and creating servers okay so for that you require a windows server 2012 iso file which i have already downloaded i will share the link from where you can download your copy okay so that will be a evaluation period from where we can really create our lab and do all of the features and check out okay and right now i'm using vmware workstation uh, uh, 10 which on which we will be creating a virtual machine so i will show you step by step how we can create the machine okay so i'm there in the <clears throat> home console and you need to create new virtual machine i will go over the custom setting and click next let be this um, workstation version 10.x click next okay so i will be selecting the iso file later so i will be clicking next and uh, this time we will be forming a microsoft windows server and i will be choosing windows server 2012 you can see uh, there is no option of choosing 32 bit or 64 bit because windows server 2012 is coming out of the box from 64 bit okay click next and i'm just putting it this is my ad server so i will put it like that okay and i will browse it and create a new folder i put it in my lab storage okay and i will give the path like this click next that will be by default and uh, memory i can use it with 1 gb 2 gb and at this moment let's go with 4 gb so that our installation can happen quickly okay click next and i will be using nat and it is depending on you what um, network setting you would like to use it can be bridge okay click next i will use with default lsi logic sas click next scsi is recommended i will use that create a new virtual disk i will create new and i will give it as 150 i prefer to use a single uh, file rather splitting it so i will use a single file and click next click next and finish so you can see our virtual machine is ready now we need to give the path to our iso file so i will do edit virtual machine i will go to cd i will go to iso and browse so it will uh, i will go to my d drive i will look for iso files here my iso and i will choose windows server 2012 and pick this okay and rest of the things it looks good i will click okay and power on the machine you can see the file will are loading <coughs> for the first time it will boot from the iso file which we have mounted okay so this is the option we are getting click next and click install now So in this we will be installing the data center edition and with server with GUI. You can also if you want to install a core edition then you will select this one like server core, server core, data center or standard. So this time we are going with data center edition with server with GUI. Click next. I accept the license agreement. Click next. We are doing a custom uh, installation. It's a new. Uh, we are not doing any upgrade or anything. So we will use custom. And this is the disk which we have selected. So I can go to drive option and create a new uh, volume like this and click OK. And then I will choose the volume on which I want to install the operating system. Click next. now installation process will move on
so I will pause the video once it is completed then I will restart it again so the installation has been completed now it is rebooting for the first time so I will click restart now so this is reading, uh, getting ready for the first time okay the window has been installed now it is asking for the initial setup so I'm putting the password okay I will finish okay system has been ready now what we need to do is we need to control all delete and it will prompt to the putting the password So this installation is been done. Now what we'll do is we will install the VMware tools so that we can do a proper interaction with this particular virtual machine. So for that I will go to VM and click install VMware tools. So I'll go to directory structures and computers. So I'll click install. Click next. I will use complete and click next. So that will be having the all the complete features and the drivers which are required. So after this installation we need to reboot the machine. You will click finish it will ask to reboot although you can see some enhancement in the video driver click yes server is rebooted now we can log in with our password Okay, the installation has been completed. So in the next video, we will see what are the post installation settings are required in Windows Server 2012. Thanks for watching this particular video. Do stay tuned for next video. This is Joy Banerjee signing off from AIKID support. Thank you.